one of you have a turtle shell on your back and when things get tough, boop, uh-uh. I'm going into defense, protect, mask mode. And he said this to me, he said, Nathan, let me ask you, did you want to be uncomfortable? Did you really want to address the issues about your, your mental health? Did you really want to address the issues about your drug addiction? Did you really want to address the issues about your lack of your father in your life? Did you really want to address the issues about your attitude and how you treated others and your responsibility, your lack of, of discipline and, and self respect Did you really want to talk to people about the fact that you had put a rope around your neck? Did you really? And I said, not really. It's kind of uncomfortable. He said, you're right. So if I had this knife right now, or if I had this pencil, and I said, put your hand out, and I'm putting the pencil through your hand, what are you going to do? Boop! Uh-uh! But he said this. What if I told you, if I don't put the pencil or the knife through your hand, your daughter will die? Cut my hand off. I won't move it for a million years. Forget my hand, take my life. He said, so what you just realize is that you are putting value on that uncomfortable moment because you knew that there was something of great value to you and it was when you were willing to get uncomfortable. Yes. You see, the reason why many of us battle sometimes with change, the reason why many of us battle sometimes with words like anxiety, depression, we battle with some of our, our mental health issues, we battle with the suicidal ideologies of talking about it, or we battle with the issues that we're, we're struggling with. It's because we don't understand the great value it takes and how much it can help you because it's so uncomfortable. When you begin to understand, being uncomfortable is the only way we're going to get it better. There's no way around it. You've got to be willing to be uncomfortable. But that's okay because we've placed value on being uncomfortable. I know if I begin to talk about my stuff and find the courage and begin to speak up and speak out and process my emotions and find those trusted caring adults and find those good friends that I can lean on and if I can speak up and speak out and not worry and be anxious and have the anxiety of what's their expectation when I talk about this. I didn't see this coming from you, Nathan. He said, this. no, 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 no. When you're willing to understand that truthfully, we can change and we can overcome because we're not technology. We have a brain, we have a heart, we have a breath, we have free will, we have choice.